Nard out here with a CSGO Pro Tricks video. This is my third Pro Tricks video in three weeks and I'm trying super hard to get 50k subscribers by the end of the year so please help me out by subscribing to the channel and also giving the video a like, commenting, and sharing the video with your friends and teammates as these actions will help the YouTube algorithm. Honestly, I don't think my videos get the views that they should and it's a little disheartening for the amount of work I put in them. So thank you all for all your support and it means a lot to me. As you saw in the first clip, Norbert fell back and threw a defensive smoke towards Empty Pillar and then gets on top of the trash can waiting for the T's to wrap. Same play here from Krimbo. This defensive smoke compared to the Van Bench smoke is more passive. You'll only have to watch the wrap. Compared to the Bench defensive smoke where T's will sometimes run through that smoke. With this smoke, it's highly unlikely the T's will run through as they will be happy with taking Bench control. This smoke is good to use if you don't have a crossfire with a teammate towards Get Right and you're playing by yourself. It's going to give you time for your teammates to rotate over to assist in the retake. On a standard AX cute, Bench gets Molly from the T's. Nico with a great counterplay by smoking out the Molly, then pushes behind the smoke, getting on Bench, where he has cover to hold triple and gets a frag into Masuta, then falls back safely after. Vitality aren't able to trade because they can't spot Nico since the smoke gives him that protection. Nerd's holding in the corner of window peaks and gets a frag onto Leos. Then he throws a one-way smoke window where he aims here and right-click throw. The smoke lands on the window ledge and Nerd's has a gap to work with bottom left of the smoke where he's going to spot Hats and frags him. Hats had no clue this was a one-way smoke and probably thought it was a smoke for him to fall back with. And you can't even spot him behind the cover of the smoke. Electronic smokes market window and market door from outside apartments near T-spawn. His teammates drop him a smoke, he stands in the back corner, for the market window smoke, he aims here, runs 2 steps forward and jump throw, then he picks up the smoke, and then for the market door smoke, in the same position in the back corner, aims here, runs 2 steps forward and jump throw. While this is happening, his teammates are rushing B. After throwing the two smokes, Electronic will advance into apartments and watch the flank. Tissian smokes mid window from inside apartments, he will position as shown. Then, while standing, aims at the wire above this mark on the wall, then left click throw. Afterwards, he will attempt to flash mid through the gap here, however it misses. I'm going to show you a lineup here in a second. The first player I ever seen to throw this smoke was Kerrigan. As for the flash, I am in the same position as Tizian. You'll want to aim higher than he did, which is right here, then jump throw. This flash lands right above top mid, and it's really effective for anyone holding mid from short. Outsiders pop BNT pistol with James throwing short and market window smoke. First he makes sure no one's pushing underpass, then stands on the back wall on this line. For the short smoke he uses the pin of his smoke and aims under this antenna, then jump throw. For the market window smoke, aims here, jump throw. Then afterwards he flashes his teammates out. Mighty Max smokes cat rail from the mid wall right before connector. While standing, aims here, then left click throw. The smoke gives cover from connector for KRB to push up catwalk to short. Crucial will set up for the standard counter flash before KRB comes around the corner, and the flash blinds the short player, setting up KRB. Navi are on eco with the safe rifle, and Simple's gonna get boosted behind Ticket where you can spot top Tetris. However, no one from Big will jump up to that position, so they're gonna give up the boost. Without the boost, you can't really spot top Tetris. The past two trick videos I showed the window ledge one way smoke thrown from spawn. Here's an easier way to do it, credit to Spalik. Crouch in the corner, aim below the wire between the buildings, while crouch run throw bind. The smoke will land on the end of the boost and you can get onto the right ledge where you have a one way smoke. Now this is a smoke I can see pro teams throwing because of how easy the lineup is. There's a new way to molly top mid if window smoked, you're going to get on top of the other plank closer towards window. Aim at this line, then without moving your mouse, shift to left and run forward and left click throw. Credit to Kappa for showing me this. There are already some pros already using this new lineup here. You can use these poor B smokes from spawn for either a rush or a fake. For your art smokes, you're gonna tuck in this corner here, crouch, aim right here, walk forward, and when you reach the stairs, jump throw. Use the same exact lineup, but throw before you reach the stairs for your left art smoke. These are pretty precise, so make sure you practice these. For your window and your door smokes, you're gonna come running into this corner over here, aim at this antenna, run forward, and when your crosshair hits this roof, you're gonna jump throw. Run, jump. Aim a little farther to the right and use the same lineup. 
Then you'll get door. Right side A smokes from apartments admitted by Max. You're going to stand in this corner for the stair smoke. Put your crosser here. Jump throw. As for the cross smoke aim as shown. Then jump throw. This cross smoke does leave a gap so make sure you molly bench. And the stair smoke is the variation smoke where it lands on the actual stairs. Monacy is going to use the smoke nade bug where he throws a nade behind his smoke which will show the enemy models. He first throws the deep mid smoke. And then goes to mid and lines up next to this wall, aims here, strafes to the middle, and then left click throw. The nade will expose and outline the T's behind the smoke, giving Monacy vision to get the frag onto Dupree, and then he'll find another kill through the smoke. You don't really need a specific lineup for the nade. This has been in the game for quite a while now, and it works on all maps, not just Inferno. I'm sure you all experienced it in your matches or pugs before on accident when you nade behind the smoke, and then you're able to see the outline of the enemy. Twist is going to attempt the same play here, however no one from G2 is behind the smoke or in middle. He has a different lineup for the nade and as you can see it still works. Like I said before it works on other maps. Here's an incident where Madden nades behind the divider sandwich smoke thrown from Zaiwu and the nade exposes Zaiwu's position and Madden spots at the last second and kills Zaiwu. What makes this trick or bug or whatever you want to call it overpowered is that from the opposite end of it you can't see their outline. Previously, I showed Rops throwing the window balcony molly from short where he had a set position on top of the barrel. Here he has a faster way by looking to the wall and then jumping at the end of the barrel, then aims here and jump throw. Bonus trick, Rops will throw the BMOS boiler one-way smoke I showed previously in an older video. He will crouch behind this wall aligned with the mark while crouch, aims here, then left click throw. Rops will then get on Twist's head in the back left corner of boiler where you can see towards the end of the halls over the smoke and gets the frag onto Hunter. This is a super strong one way smoke. It's super hard to spot the CTs using it. One play you can do when executing B is having one player run through the CT smoke, which I've seen a lot of pros do as of recent. This is risky, but if time right, you can sneak to a tree or even catch up the CTs on reload from spamming or throwing a flash for their teammates B. Hunter went unnoticed at tree and catches out the rotator brokey, picking up his op afterwards and getting another frag. Maka with the top mid flash, standing next to this left wall, aims as shown, then jump throw. His teammates will pop mid after the flash and then Maka moves to behind the bench where he will smoke between default and graveyard by putting his crosshair here, then jump throw. Falcons will wrap A from long and this smoke gives them cover from pit as they do so. Masuta has a consistent way to throw the fast mid control nades from second mid. For the left mid smoke, he stands behind the small wall, aims in the middle of this door here, and jump throw. For the short molly, he has a lineup where he stands at the end of this window, puts his crosshair next to this light, then runs forward and jump throw as he leaves the roof. Jax, the CT at short, puts out Masuta's short molly. Sometimes you'll see two players throwing the fast mid control nades, which is faster. SDY smokes left mid, staying behind these stairs, aims corner of the window, then jump throw. Electronic is in charge of throwing the short molly, but first he's going to flash mid in case any offer is holding, and then molly short, which is going to push back Fiku. In my last trick video, I showed how to throw bracket control nades from the left balcony rail. Here's how to do so from the right window balcony rail positioning on the back right circle. While standing for the left mid smoke, aim here, then left click throw. As for the short molly, put your crosshair as shown, and jump throw. Simple with mid defensive nades, first he smokes mid by backing up into this wall, while standing aims at the top of this mark then left click throw. The smoke won't leave any gaps, then he's gonna move behind the same wall to throw this molly where he aims below this line then jump throw. The molly is intended to prevent the rush from second mid, as well as covering stairs to jump up onto balcony. Simple doesn't throw the mid smoke from CT because he wants to delay and have more time on the smoke. Navi start 3B in this round and this utility set is a good way to delay any fast plays from phase which should give enough time for their rotator to come back. Flames Molly's mini pit from apartments and it's a molly that's hardly thrown. He will crouch behind the left doorway, aims as shown then left click throw. Be careful when throwing this molotov because you're exposed to pit. It's best if you throw a lurk smoke before you throw this molotov to give you cover. Nico smokes long wrap from second mid on T pistol. He's gonna stand in front of the wall sticking out, aims here, then runs forward until his crosshair hits the roof, then jump throw. This is a smoke that I've covered two years ago with Fnatic using it, and you can click up here to see the tactic, 
as well as I'll link it below in the description box. Nico and Mid will smoke Big Pit standing behind the bench, then he's going to jump throw. Afterwards, Hunter from Apartments will come out into Balcony, and he clears majority of the site and doesn't see anyone, so he throws these flashes off the Big Pit wall that will land in front of Mini Pit, and that's going to blind Masuta had he lived a little bit longer. Jax with the save AK from the previous round gets boosted in Boiler, and this can be a really good boost because the T towards the end of the hall might not clear or look towards Boiler as they come up the stairs because they're so focused on the other end of the hall, which happens here with Masuta, and he gets fragged by Jax. And to add insult to injury, even gets the frag onto the pre towards window. Got a graveyard Molotov from mid to show you from the user wolf. You're gonna align yourself with the shadow on the wall, aim at this wire, then run forward, and when your crosshair reaches this point, then jump throw. So let's see this in real time now. Fallen actually used this Molotov way long ago towards the beginning of his stint on Team Liquid. B site flash that lands above the CT roof, get close to the half wall, aim between these dots, then jump throw. This flash was submitted by David SKP. The flash will cover the majority of the positions on B, which I'm not going to show here for time constraint, but believe me, it covers most of the positions. Here's a safe way to throw mid control nades from the user Becky FC. You want to line yourself up with the end of the vine wall. As for the bracket smoke, aim at the bottom part of the door, jump throw. For the porch molotov, aim at this smudge on the wall, jump throw. If you do have any tips and tricks you want to share with me to be featured in the upcoming future videos, make sure to join my discord and post them in the ideas channel. I don't have a sponsor for my video, so I'm just going to give a quick shout out to my discord. Love my community there. You get to see some of the tricks and tips that's seen in this video beforehand, as well as you get to share your tricks to be possibly featured in my future videos. The Discord link will be below in the description box. Navi did this setup twice versus Team Vitality where they smoke monster at the start of the round and they'll either send one or two players through the monster smoke with one player flashing them through and before these players push monster they're either fake molly or here in this clip here electronic nades to match his footsteps. SDY will flash him through and he gets the frag onto Magis. This setup works beautifully against T's when they're defaulting as most of the time it's only one player towards B and Navi punished Vitality in the two rounds they did this setup with Magis dying. Super easy flash for water from Apex. You're gonna stand in front of this wall, aim at the handle, then run throw bind. The flash will blind Snappy setting up the frag for Magis. Apex has an easy way to throw the defensive smoke standing back left of pit. He crouches, aims at this much, stands up, then left click throw. However, he doesn't throw it in this round here. Here's what the smoke would look like had he threw it. It's also going to leave a one way to the left here. Stiko smokes short pipe that puts out the CT's molly. However, it leaves a gap for him working as a one way smoke. He will crouch behind this wood plank, aims as shown, then right and left click jump throw. The gap is in the right of the smoke near the pipe and he's going to spot and kill the CT that's in water. Here is the CT's POV and he can't spot Stiko at all and then he's going to get killed. This is a very strong smoke. Shattery will molly short first, then throws a short pipe smoke, stand next to this wall, left and right click jump throw. This smoke will put out Namigo's molly and this smoke gives a one way too where he peeks around the gap and kills the boost. I believe I showed the same smoke in the previous trick video regarding Big Clan throwing this smoke, however it didn't net them a kill. Madden throws Big Clan's overpass a lurk smoke. He'll position with the line on the bathroom wall, aims below this black line on the roof, then jump throw. Hades will flash banana for him to push past the Vider sandwich wall, and he's gonna get the frag onto Dupree, who was trying to peek around the smoke. What's nice about this smoke is that it's gonna land deeper than your normal lurk smoke, giving you more room to push up. Madden will also get in the smoke here to Molly Bank, but as you saw, it does leave him a one way smoke as well. With the A lurk smokes, you have to be careful for CTs peeking around the smoke, which is very common. The flash will set up Madden as the pre gets blind, allowing Madden to not get spotted crossing, and then the pre will get killed. Nakus mollies the Vider sandwich from this wall near Fountain. He will line himself with this plant on the ground, sets his crosshair here, then left click throw. Unfortunately, it gets extinguished by Zaiwu. Crystal smokes monster from this back wall. He's going to aim here, then jump throw. I'm not sure if this monster smoke is intentionally supposed to leave a gap to the left for a one way or not, but Stefan takes advantage of it. He spots Yota crossing and kills him. KRB with a super easy graffiti smoke positioned with the end of this wall, aims at the antenna. Fortunately, you can't see it because of the crosshair, but there's an antenna sticking out the building, then jump throw. 
Masuta Molly's party staying to the right behind this wood wall and playground, then he's going to aim at this part of the tree and left click throw. The Molly forces Spinks playing behind the tree out of position, setting up Zaiwu for the frag. Madden with a straight forward party Molotov staying in the corner of playground, aims at this part of the wood wall, then jump throw. Here's an interesting A site defensive one way smoke that you throw off this wall, which the smoke lands on the corner, and this one was submitted by the user Anne. The smoke will give you a one way from multiple positions on A site. Magis throws a one way smoke from back platform. The smoke is going to land on Boots, and he is going to be in the back right corner to throw the smoke. He will aim at this part of the box, then jump throw. The smoke gives Magis the advantage initially for anyone swinging and or peeking from the left. However, Magis was quick switching and crouching, which messes up his timing. Therefore, he couldn't take advantage of the smoke and then therefore gets killed. Had he been holding and peeking tunnels, he most likely gets at least one frag there. Haluk Langu showed me an easier lineup for this Magis one-way smoke where you stand behind the box and to the right of it, aim above the wood, then left click throw. Monacy was in a 1v4 clutch, brings it down to a 1v1 where he spots Rops long and time is running down so he gets onto the site and plants. After plant he throws the molly close to him where he has the advantage to peek behind it, spotting and killing Rops. The molly makes it hard for Rops to be able to see Monacy behind it. Great clutch and great play from Monacy. Madden throws a smoke off the wall that lands next to Xbox blocking off vision from any T's peeking door. He then pushes through his own smoke killing Nexus suicide and falling back safely afterwards. You could do a lot with this smoke, and it reminds me of the deep mid smoke thrown from CT spawn on Inferno at the start of the round. Nerds with the CT combo where he throws a deep CT smoke and then mollies in front of the smoke that covers boost. For the smoke he aims here, then left click throw. As for the molly, he puts his crosshair on this part of the box, then left click throw. Nurse will then hold for the jump up and push, however no one from heat is in this position. In the same round, Mighty Max is going to smoke B door staying behind mid door, aims as shown. Runs one step forward and jump throw. Jame has an easy lineup to smoke CT. He stands on this back garage, puts his crosshair on the corner, then left click throw. Faze smokes CT and top from catwalk with Twist also throwing flashes. Faze will use these smokes to split B with the two players while the other three Faze players will come out tunnels. Let's see how to throw these utility. Rain entering outdoor will smoke CT by positioning with this part of the wall. Then he will aim at this mark, then runs one step forward and left click throw. He will then entry out with Twist's flash, however Electronic was able to dodge it and kills him from top. Twist aligns himself up with the other set of square walls. First he's going to flash rain out door, aims here, then left click throw. For the top smoke he sets his crosshair on this smudge on the wall, jump throw. Then throws a second flash for CT mid aiming at this part of the door, then run throw bind. Unfortunately Electronic dodges the flash and capitalizes killing rain with this off angle. Maybe Twist can change the order of his nade set by smoking first and then throwing the two flashes and rain going out once the smokes bloom. Ben Tet standing from the top of the barrel towards the left wall, smokes CT towards mid. He's gonna aim as shown, then jump throw. Tyloo will use this smoke to cross from long to A site. Using the smoke, be careful when using the smoke because it leaves a gap for anyone CT mid outside of B to see over the top of the smoke. Nerd smokes a vanguard from top mid cubby. He will crouch to where the wood is covered by the wall. He will then remain crouched and then he aims at the corner of this window, stands up and jump throw. The benefit to smoking a vanguard or any AXQ smoke from top mid is that you can watch the flank as well as lurk if there is no flank, which Nerds does here going through mid doors and killing hats from behind. Sprout throw across smokes and before they advance, they're going to boost at the corner to see over the smokes which Stair finds and kills CQK, who was not expecting the boost. He was focused on the cross to ramp. This short Molotov has been around for quite some time now. I just never showed it off and want to add it to my collection of nades over on my second channel, Nades Out Here. I've seen a lot more teams play more setups on short, so this could come in handy. Tapson throws a smoke that lands top mid, blocking off vision from anyone holding from outside long. He stands at the top of the stairs, using his thumb, covers this part of the antenna, then left click throw. Zipix was holding mid and he's going to get smoked out and that forces him to go around to spawn to watch suicide for any type of pushes. I've shown this smoke before but wanted to show it again as it is a very interesting smoke. It's not seen a lot because it's a very situational smoke. Shout out to turns for showing me this. SDY has this flash for long that will blind any CTs crossing the pit and it won't blind your teammates entering outdoors as it pops behind you. However, he's not going to throw it in this round. 
Now, this is a flash that Boomich quite often threw when he was on Na'Vi when Na'Vi took long. Shout out to Smirky for showing me this flash. You'll also want to throw a corner flash because this flash won't cover any CTs holding from corner. Here's what the flash will look like as the CTs are crossing towards pit. What's also nice is it covers players inside of pit. After Smirky sent me this clip, I actually found a round where SDY did throw these flashes and here it is being used to help Bit get out long. It's in a blind flames as he crosses the pit, setting up Bit for the frag, but know how he threw the corner flashes first. Mid round Navi will boost behind blue to wait for any re-aggression from OG to retake long A, and it's a very good position to do so, however Bit from door actually gets a frag to Dexter here. Neofrag throwing the LXB mid door Molotov I showed in the past. Stand in front of the box. You're going to aim at the corner of the square. Walk two steps forward and left click throw. Afterwards, he spams the door and the Molly finished off electronic. The Molly covers both sides of the door. Apex at long A is going to flash Masuta out long doors. He's going to align himself with the end of the wall. Turns around and aims here, then runs forward and jump throw. Masuta will push out long house, killing a blind Jax. Searson with the wall being through the blue, seeing Dia throw his utility, tagging Dia down to half HP, where Tapson finishes him off with the nade. I did not know you could wall bang through this blue here, and Dia gets a nice little surprise. Stare and Decon crouches between the sinks, and he has a set lineup to wall bang the toxic plant. However, Dalboni isn't going to plant there, and he plants the air silo instead, so we're not going to see the wall bang. But here's what the wall bang had looked like if he did so. Encore tried to do the Molly secret smokes and Body throws the smoke on the Molly before Encore smokes lands. And that's going to leave a gap which both Afro and Body capitalize on this gap, getting a frag apiece. Great play from Body. This here is the standard secret smoke wall thrown from truck and look at the spacing before I show you the deeper secret smokes from Falcons. These smokes go from red to the garage. Now the ones Falcons throw land a little deeper giving you more space to maneuver to cross secret. Let's see how these smokes are thrown. Python throws the close red smoke, he's going to crouch behind the truck, stands up, aims at the corner, then jump throw. Maka throws the deeper smoke, he's going to crouch in the middle of the circle, then stands up and aims at this part of the silo and jump throw. Monacy throws a ramp lurk smoke that blocks off U-Haul, he's going to throw it off the sign alongside a flash. It could be useful to take ramp as it denies vision from the CT rotator. Apex Molly's Mustang and flashes upper from roof. He's going to stand on this vent, aligning with this screw. Stands up. For the Molly, he puts his crosshair as shown, then jump throw. As for the flash, he aims a little bit higher, and then jump throw. The Molly will force Jax to jump down, where he takes massive damage and gets killed from Dupree coming out hut. Reddit user named Wilzu found this run boost you can do to get on top main. There's a ramp that's on top of the door that leads to top main. Once you get run boosted, you project on up using your momentum to get on top of main. Fury Academy has a run boost from top credit card to get on main, but this one is much safer. Here's a clip of Wilzu using the run boost in a match at the start of the round where he's going to catch out the T crossing the red. This is a really strong play and I can definitely see pros using this trick here. Good stuff Wilzu. Sprout has an aggressive CT setup towards ramp where Rowles will smoke mid yellow where he's going to aim here, walks two steps forward and left click throw. Afterwards slacks towards sandbags will flash off yellow and it's going to blind the T's holding from bottom ramp with stair pushing through the smoke and gets two frags off of it. Before he does so he throws his own flash to clear anyone pushing up yellow if there were any T's to do so. This setup is going to work really well because the T's won't expect anyone to push through the yellow smoke and the flash catches them off guard. This is one of my favorite op peaks to watch for when playing on Vertigo. The one where the CT opera will drop down from wood onto the board. The movement is clean and you lose no HP with this drop. Slacks gets the opening pick doing so. Make sure you have the best spawn to use this play here. In the past 6 months, every time I've seen the run boost successfully pulled off, it nets the T's controls of stairs and potentially a frag or two. And Sprout used this run boost twice in this match with both times getting them stairs control. Hopefully more teams put this in their playbook. Eternal Fire smokes yellow at the start of the round and this is going to give cover for Woxic with an AWP to come out Ivy to hold the yellow gap to see bottom ramp and he spots and kills Story. Story is going to expect this peak however Woxic is already holding. Madden is going to hide behind the mid sandbags as OG will go mid to B through window and he goes unchecked and gets two frags from it. Very sneaky beaky like. Flames is entering out mid and he's going to be the first one up window, however he doesn't check sandbags as there's many other positions he focuses on first and gets killed. 
Tizian inside ladder is going to throw the retake molly for top yellow and ivy and Searson likes Roy short afterwards. Tizen will attempt to throw a YOLO nade to try to get Roy, however the nade he throws only does 3 HP. Digital is showing some lineups to throw a better nade, however if anyone knows a good nade from inside ladder for short, please share it with me. Digital shows two lineups and you can see in the bottom left how much damage it does. There's another way to throw the mid glitch molly. You're going to stand in this back corner, aim below this bag here, then run forward and jump throw. Credit to Patrick who got this from 9CSGO on TikTok. There's a pixel surf in CT spawn and credit goes to Lim's official for this one where you can get on this back ledge and surf to the left side hiding behind the beam and hazard code. However, the accuracy is thrown off. My good friend and moderator admin digital is going to show you how to do this pixel surf. For an interesting save, you can pixel surf along this edge over here. You know, I'm going to tuck in this corner right here, aim roughly around here. You're going to run, crouch, look forward, hold W, and you'll lock into this edge. Make sure you continue holding crouch and W. You will have low accuracy and be unable to get back up, but you will have a few different spots where you can remain hidden. Faze are an eco and Twist will invest in a flash where he will solo boost himself. Two of his teammates will push main while Twist flashes over the wall where he aims at this part of the plant then jump throw. Unfortunately the flash doesn't connect onto Hardzout as he was near the entrance making the flash not effective. But here's what the flash would have looked like had he been farther back. Now this is a common eco tactic that Astralis likes to use. Rain's gonna smoke long from lane. He's gonna stand next to this wall, sets his crosshair on this leaf, then left click throw. With the new temple update, the devs close out this wall here, which all the temple smokes thrown use to bounce in through. I'll show you two ways that were shown to me from my community to smoke temple. Now, in the pro scene prior to this update, the meta was smoking temple for A splits, like through Donut. Not really anymore for A executes. With this new update, it'll be interesting to see if teams smoke temple or not. Your usual AXQ pros will usually only smoke CT and donut. Here's one way to smoke temple from outside main. Credit to BRKYY. You will position yourself with this white dot on the ground closest to the wall. Then while crouch still, aim between these leaves towards the bottom and then jump throw. Another way to smoke temple credit to Zuper Crowley is to crouch in this corner. You'll aim to the right of this leaf here, then jump throw, while crouch still. Bevy showed me a super easy lineup for the temple smoke. You're gonna get in the corner, crouch, aim at the top of the brown of this leaf, stand up and jump throw. If you want to smoke temple from main, you're gonna stand next to this wall, aim at this corner, then left click throw. Credit to Bjork for showing me this smoke. Nice A main one way smoke from I am Caravan. Stand middle of triple, aim to the right of the tree below this leaf, then left click throw. Afterwards you could self boost, but let's ignore my bad movement here. Then you could peek over the smoke giving you a one way to peek A main, which whoever is in main most likely will think nothing of the smoke, and that's when you seize the opportunity. Bang bang. There's this rock you could crouch and hide behind outside of temple at Brokey. You can spot the name of the opponent if they show up, then shoot and spray through the stone doing full damage while on the opposite end of it, you're not able to see whoever's holding from behind the stone. Credit to Happy for sharing this one. Giku showing off a temple boost after smoking main for cover. This boost will allow you to see towards Donut. Leon with a B nade set, you're going to stand yourself with the X on the door. For the short smoke, aim at the tip of the leaf, then left click throw. Then for the pillar cave molotov, aim at this part of the leaf, then left click throw. Then he follows up with two sight flashes. The main focus of this I wanted to show is the molotov, which is going to cover the pillar as well as the cave entrance. Sharpie showing a wall bang for anyone playing the close left position inside Cheetah. Careful using this wall bang as the CTs can spam you back as well. Not really sure how useful this wall band can be as the devs made that side of Cheetah much more smaller. So not sure if we're going to see players hold from this position. New Big Clan Donut One Way Smoke from Sven. Align yourself up with this stone while standing, aim as shown, then left click throw. This smoke gives you a gap to see towards Brokey and the cross. The smoke gives you full cover as you can see it would be super hard to spot anyone inside Donut.
Here's a one way, it's a little tricky to throw. Duck in this corner. And aim right there. Right click, jump throw. Lightly, you play it out here. You're going to tuck in this corner right here. Aim just underneath the top of those bricks and just to the left of this wall right here. Jump throw. Laying down smoke. Gives you a nice little one way. You can see their feet. And they can't see anything. That's the end of the video. Please subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment. All these actions will help the YouTube algorithm and help my channel grow. I spent over 120 hours the past two weeks watching demos, creating content. To be able to put out three trick videos in three weeks while working full time, I greatly appreciate your support. Till next time, not out here. Peace.